Hey you travel lovers, welcome back to Owner Lost for Life here on YouTube. Today I am gonna show you what's in my camera bag 2020 edition. Yeah, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so why am I doing another bag video? It's simple, I have upgraded my gear for very specific reasons. I wanted to share why, and I get these kinds of questions a lot, so I wanna keep it all up to date. So if you watch my last bag video, you'll know that I had the Peak Design 5 liter sling. I'll leave a link up here if you haven't seen that yet. I still use that bag for kind of a grab and go situation. This is the Peak Design Everyday Tote version two, and I'm absolutely in love with it. As soon as I saw it came out, I just knew I had to have it, and I think it fits my needs absolutely perfectly. Um, they also have a tote bag, which is more of a backpack style, which I would also think I'd love, but this is what I'm sticking with. Let me show you what's inside and why I love this bag. First of all, the style, isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty. <laughs> um, this is the bone color. It's also the, out the exterior is 100% recycled um, fabric, and I just kind of love how it is put together. One of my favorite features, there's a couple, <laughs> are these straps. I love that I can just carry it like this. It also comes with an extra shoulder strap if you wanna use it more as a sling, and that just hooks up on the sides here. And then you can use it and pop it around your back. I don't use it like that, so I just keep it off. So on the outside here, you'll notice these straps. This is for extra, you know, you can, take anything extra on here. I actually bought the um, Peak Design Travel Tripod from the Kickstarter, so I already have it, yay. Um, so that fits on here perfectly. It's not actually in the bag. I just wanted to show you how I attach it with these straps. So these just pop off and you can put anything that you want in here and then just pop it back on. You can use it in a couple different styles, um, but even with the tripod in here, I'm using it right now, so that's why it's not, um, it's easy to carry, which I absolutely love. But you can put the straps here, you can put it on the bottom, you can put it on the top, you can, so many options. So in the front flap here, this is a weatherproof zip. In here are my cables, bits and bobs. If you want the full download on that, watch the last video. Um, and then there's also this um, key fob kind of thing. Ooh, it's stretchy. <laughs> Never noticed. Um, and this uses the anchor, which Peak Design uses on a lot of their products, and I'll show you exactly what that is. And then it closes from the zipper, but also magnets. On the other side, I have another pocket. This does not have a zipper, so I just use it for quick access stuff has a pass-through right here to put through your luggage, which is really nice. Open it, these have magnets on top, so easy to close, but it also has a weatherproof zipper. Living in Amsterdam, pretty much anything that I own has to be somewhat weatherproof, so just, and then you're super secure. Nobody's getting in. I usually just leave it unzipped, unless I'm you know, in the metro or whatever. So what's in here? Well, if you saw the last video, you'll be like, I can't even believe you got that much stuff in that little bag. Well, I've transferred it to this bag. I might have a few more things, so it all fits perfectly. This is my kind of selfie stick unipod type. Unipod is not a word. <laughs> anyway, um, this extends, I use it for a couple different things. You can use it for the GoPro, you can use it for the Osmo Pocket, also my camera. This is just one of those things that you don't know that you need until you don't have it. In the laptop pocket, I have my laptop. So I have a 15 inch HP Spectre from three years ago. That actually fits into this pocket, which is only rated for a 13 inch. So it is a tight fit, but I did get it to fit, which I'm very proud of. But like I said, it is a tight fit, so I can't blame them for that. So that goes in there. Also, um, that's rated for um, tablets or whatever is kind of flat and fits in there. It's perfect, so papers, documents, postcards, things like that. Also, what I have back there is my little light. So when I'm on the go and I need something lit up a little bit, I can use it on the camera um, for vlogging. I can also just use it for food photography. It's kind of a great little addition. My water bottle, 
One thing that I was really sad about when I used the five liter was there was nowhere for a water bottle to go. Now I have one. Love it. Um, this is like my favorite kind of water bottle because you can easily clean it with um, a bottle brush and it's stainless steel and it's double walled so it keeps things hot or cold. Love this. Um, there's a couple popular brands but just in general, I love that. All right, next in the middle pocket, and I'll explain what I mean in a second, is this Manfrotto mini tripod. I, again, can use it the same way as the other stick, um, and that stick can also make this longer. So if I need a small tripod, but I need a little bigger than this, I can actually just screw this on here and then use it, which is nice. So because there are three sections, these have the flexi fold dividers and I really like that. So basically I've divided it into three and then the two on the side have shelves. So on the top shelf over here on the left is my camera. This is the A6600. If you watched my last video, you saw that I was using the A6400. I've since upgraded. I'm in love with this camera in so many ways. Um, on it is a 30 millimeter 1.4 Sigma lens. So if you're wondering what I use, this is what I use. Um, this is the anchor that I was mentioning from Peak Design that you can put on your keys and you can put them um, on pretty much anything. I have the Peak Design cuff on here right now. Um, we also have, that you'll see in a second, a strap that goes around. I have the anchor, Sean has the anchors. Um, basically, all of that stuff is Peak Design so that we can interchange them whenever we need. Uh, under the camera, so under the shelf of the camera, is a bunch of just accessories. So I have my Osmo Pocket uh, tripod adapter, my Rode Video Micro with wind muff. Let's see, oh, the harp for the microphone, the Osmo Pocket, just a little package for um, little things that I need to keep. Uh, video mic me for filming on my camera. So that's a Rode product as well um, as a microphone. The cable for the microphone for the camera and the adapter for my phone to go on a tripod. So that's all that's in the bottom of that shelf. This is insane guys, like so much stuff can fit in here. On the other shelf on top is the 18 to 135 millimeter Sony E-mount lens and underneath is the camera strap that I told you about. So this is um, one of the smaller straps from Peak Design. I don't like the big ones. And then the Rode um, Wireless Go microphone. This is my go-to microphone when it's just me talking. And then my Sony E-mount lens for 10 to 18. This is my vlogging lens. Love this thing. And that's it. I don't think I missed anything. Oh little pen for cleaning your camera. This is a must have in your bag. So that's it. That's what I have in my camera bag. I just love how everything fits. Everything has its place and it's just a really nice bag to keep everything organized. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, let me know down below what you want to see next. What kind of videos like this would you like to see? Would you like more review videos? Amsterdam videos, travel videos, let us know. But there's more Amsterdam and travel videos coming your way, so don't worry about that. And like the video if you did enjoy it, please. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that right now. Hit the little red button, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.